Oh my. Oh my. I am officially hooked on this series. Have you heard of late bloomers? Well, I never bloomed at all. That's why Never Have I Ever hits close to home. The series regales the audience with relatable storylines and represents women of color in the leads. Amen to that. It's all about steamy comedy. So let the catcher dehaze this incredible cast for you. Maitreyi Ramkrishnan as Divi Vishwakumar. Maitreyi is an 18-year-old actress from Mississauga, Canada. She is very proud of her Tamil origin and doesn't shy away from her parents' story of fleeing civil war in Sri Lanka. Will you believe me if I say Maitreyi has never acted on TV prior to NHIE? Wait, what? Last year, Mai Trey was just another high schooler, but the girl didn't hesitate when she stumbled upon an open audition call on Instagram. Mai Trey grabbed a camera and shot her self tape right at the school library. You want to know what happened next? She beat 15,000 other actresses and got the part. Social media literally altered the course of her life. Mai Trey instantly got along with the creator of the series, Mindy Kaling. In fact, she's been her number one fan since watching The Office. On her Instagram, Maitreyi calls Mindy her mom. Ain't nothing better than working with my mom. Get ready for never have I ever, folks. Even Michael Scott would be jealous. The NHIE actress shared in her interview with Now that her and her character have similar experiences. Although she is Tamil and her character is Indian, they both had to assimilate into local culture. Growing up, it sucked to not be able to see someone who at least superficially looked like me on screen. The actress added that she was confused as to what being Tamil meant to her and how it fit with all that was around her. Now I know exactly who I am. I identify as Tamil Canadian. Similar journey, which I feel many diaspora from all ethnicities around the world will be able to relate to. Although Mai Trey had to defer her acceptance from York University because of acting, she aspires to resume her studies one day. In her spare time, Mai paints, sings, plays piano, oh, and I almost forgot, leads 400 kids on a protest against public cuts to education. Not all heroes wear capes, I guess. The Canadian actress doesn't mess around and is here to make the film industry more diverse. When asked what's next, Mai Trey said, continuing to find roles that take up space and challenge the status quo. I think an action or thriller film would be amazing, but I'd also love to try doing voiceover work for animated films. Mai is also a spiritual guru in disguise. Listen up. As long as you believe you want to do it and it's going to make you happy, do it and it will happen. It'll happen on its own time. It'll happen in its own way. Wow. Beware, Jay Shetty. She's coming for your brand. Purna Jadnathan as Nalini Vishwakumar and Devi's mom. Purna is an Indian-American actress who was born in Tunisia. She grew up in five different countries, India, Pakistan, Ireland, Argentina, and Brazil, where she graduated in journalism. Fun fact. Despite dropping out of drama school, Purna has an extensive filmography to her name and was put on the list of the 50 most powerful women in India. I instantly felt the need to befriend her. The actress is starred in critically acclaimed TV series like Night Of, Better Call Saul, and Big Little Lies, an impressive selection of genres. Her rules are haunting, heavy, and thought-provoking. Not only does Purna star in movies, she creates her own. The actress produced a play titled Nirbhaya, about women's resistance against sexual violence. Her work has been highly praised and won the Amnesty International Freedom of Expression Award. This cast is what I call a true embodiment of women's empowerment. That's right, Beyonce just called to add them to her squad. In the NHIE series, her character Nalini is based on Mindy's mother, who passed away in 2011. Porno revealed that Nalini's parenting style and attitude brought back her childhood memories. The character very much lives in the world I grew up in. Prior to the show, the actress spent her years avoiding comedies. But the role in the new Netflix series was one she was ready to fight for. In an interview with Refinery29, Porna described her character as a dream come true, where brown folks can curse, have sex, and be a mess like everyone else on television. I've waited a long time for a project like this. In real life, the actress actually has a great sense of humor and is not afraid to show it off. Her Instagram username, for example, is pornography. Catchy, not gonna lie. Richa Shukla Morjani as Kamala and Devi's cousin. Richa is an Indian-American actress and professional dancer born in California. Her artistic side was encouraged by her parents, who were performing artists in a Bollywood band. 
No wonder Richa followed in her parents' footsteps and began her dance career at the age of five. Her dancing skills became a gateway for many opportunities, including beauty pageants. Morjani became the first runner-up Miss USA in 2008. But Richa is not just a pretty face. The actress went to acting school in Mumbai in India and studied theater and dance at UC Davis, which redirected her into a new industry. Before joining the cast of NHIE, Morjani starred in The Mindy Project, NCISLA, 911, and juggled filming for her YouTube channel. Richa has a quarter million followers on YouTube and showcases her captivating dance covers. The girl has moves. The highlights of her career include dancing alongside Indian icon Madhuri Dixit and performing at the Indian Awards with Priyanka Chopra. Her style includes Indian classical, Bollywood, jazz, hip-hop, you name it. Oh, and you thought that your 20-second TikTok routine was a real dance. Well, prepare yourself for a new revelation. Richa shared a post on her Instagram saying, dancing is her way of connecting with her culture by practicing a tradition untouched by the West. Kathak helped me to fall in love with my culture and also to cultivate many important skills and qualities that are integral to my career as an actress and performing artist today. Richa received a Golden Indian Achiever Award and was already a recognized artist. But the new Netflix series has opened up a new world of opportunities for the actress. The catcher can't wait to see her career escalate. Now, moving on to Lee Rodriguez as Fabiola. Remember at the beginning of the video, we said this show is steamy? Well, this is where it gets sauna level hot. Guys, roll the clip. Gigi Hu, 20-year-old Lee is serving you looks. She shines with such confidence that you would never believe that this is the first major role for Rodriguez. The actress is the polar opposite to her nerdy and modest character though, which showcases her acting skills. Lee started off as a model. Her portfolio includes modeling for Crooks, Sephora, Lucky Brand, and Z Supply Clothing. Only later did she express interest in acting. In 2018, the actress had small roles in Growish and Class of Lies. Lee has a beautiful voice and often entertains her followers with her music covers. I knew you were empty. I knew you were lost. Yet still I'm alone. But oh, how I've grown. Who knows? Maybe with her career taking off, the NHIE star will be producing her own music as well. Cannot wait to hear her gems. Ramona Young as Eleanor, the last member of the girls' trio, is portrayed by 20-year-old Ramona. The actress grew up in both Hong Kong and the US and thus speaks three languages fluently, Cantonese, Mandarin, and English. Young had her first on-screen role in Super Fun Night when she was 14 and just a year later began writing, directing, and producing her own short movies. When speaking to Jeff Graham, Ramona revealed that she went to summer school every single summer in order to finish school at 16 and moved to LA to study acting as soon as possible. Meanwhile, I couldn't even finish homework on the weekend. In LA, Young joined avant-garde theater and performed on the streets for two years. Her hard work paid off and new projects were added to her IMDb profile. Action series such as Z Nation and Legends of Tomorrow, Blockers Comedy, and the Netflix series Santa Clarita Diet. The bottom line is, Ramona can transform into any character the script requires. Her voice is angelic. Her Instagram account has the most mellow, flowery aesthetic. But don't let her appearance fool you. Ramona has been a martial arts whiz since she was four and can easily kick anybody's ass. In Wassam's World podcast, the NHIE actress confirmed her tenacity by saying that acting means there are no breaks. You have to keep going at all times. Like, when's my big break? And like, the truth is like, there's no break. Like, you just keep going and this is the lifestyle that we've chosen for ourselves. Yet, Ramona still finds time to have fun and goof around with her co-stars. And we can't wait for more pictures to pop up on their feeds. And finally, let's talk about the Prince Charming of the show, Darren Barnett, as Paxton Hall Yoshida. Hey Calvin, we found a candidate for you. The actor plays Dee Dee's love interest, and we can't judge her for her irrational need to befriend this young man. Who wouldn't want to? When compared to his co-stars, Darren has already dipped his toes into the pool of screen acting. The 29-year-old actor has already starred in shows such as This Is Us, Instakiller, 
Criminal Minds, and even had his Netflix debut in the comedy TV series Family Reunion. In an interview with Lauren Veneziani, the actor revealed that he was the one to break the ice during the screen test. And from then on, the cast instantly got along, without even having a chemistry read. Even more so, the crew became a family while shooting the series. When Darren was cast, Mindy added Yoshida to his character's surname to incorporate his Japanese heritage into the script. But she was so open to like playing and, and collaborating with me and, and hearing my input. Um, so really, really enjoyed that. In his recent Instagram post, the actor calls the directors of the show the most badass duo he's ever seen. But it wasn't all as easy as it seems. In an interview with AfterBuzz TV, the actor admitted that he spent a whole month at the gym before shooting the scene where he had to be shirtless. That's dedication. I cannot relate. On the flip side, there were several moments that were completely improvised by Darren and his co-stars during the shoot. Leave a comment below if you want to see a separate video on it. Now in quarantine, Barnett's devoting his time to writing. Not in his diary, though. He's writing a screenplay and at the moment is focusing on a pilot for a potential show. His upcoming projects include a lead role in the American Pie spin-off and recurring role in the Marvel Universe TV series Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, we will be seeing a lot of Darren soon, and we don't mind that at all. The whole cast has been driven to challenge the industry, portray relatable storylines, and give you the best time of your life. Never have I ever loved this show so much. See what I did there? Can a girl get a high five or what? All right, guys, what do you think of the new show? Can you relate to DB's story? And which episode was your absolute favorite? Leave your comments for the catcher below and subscribe to see more about NHIE.